Hello and welcome to the long-awaited Carmson Farm. Now, I am a bit late to the show with the whole YouTube series. But anyway, I'm here. This video is going to be how the series is going to run. Um, how the uh, What we're hoping to aim to do on the map uh, and whatnot. So there's actually going to be no farming in this episode. Um, the episodes I'm hoping, what I'm hoping to do is live stream obviously me playing the map and then put the live streams obviously edited and and whatnot up on uh, on youtube after so there won't actually be like any sort of how do i describe it like well episodes like this where i'm directly talking to you they will be pretty much live stream ar archives but edited i am hoping to be on this map for for quite a long time to come i mean i've seen a few uk maps that are in the works at the moment and I'm quite confident that I will be happy playing this map for, uh, for a good while to come. What I'm hoping to do is obviously I want to own every field on the uh, on the map, which obviously is uh, it's going to take some doing because some of these fields they're just it they're crazy expensive, crazy expensive. Like there's I remember mean, field thirty and he's like one point three million field wise. We obviously we're starting on new farmer. I own fields 2, 3, and 6, and 23. And then we've obviously got um, all these other little fields as well. We've obviously got, got the cow pasture, sheep, uh, pigs. We own all, all the pretty much the fields that you start on new farmer with. But obviously field um, 23, which I brought because obviously it's free. And who doesn't like a free field? So, but um, I'm hoping this is mainly going to be, I think, an arable farm. I will obviously do a few animals like I'm hoping to do. Oh, we have chickens at the moment. I've got 100 chickens. I'm hoping to do sheep. Possibly horses, maybe. We'll, we'll see how that uh, that goes. And then it's ma I'm mainly hoping to have it as a beef farm. Beef and arable farm is what I'm hopefully trying to going to try and go for with, uh, with this series. But you're uh, joining me not long after the harvest. I've done the harvest. I've... Uh, Bailed all the straw up, collected the bales and then everything, which I'll obviously I'll show you when we go and uh, have a look around the yards of what equipment we've got. I've fertilised all the fields with the first lot of fertiliser. So in the next episode, will obviously be from uh, from a live stream. I'm hoping to obviously get ploughing done, possibly seed the fields and and, uh, and whatnot. So uh, yeah, but without further ado, we'll uh, walk around here. And uh, pop the gate, and we'll jump in our discovery, and we'll have a, uh, a drive down the road. So I think we'll go. We'll go to the cow farm first. I think that's the uh, a good place to start. So obviously, as well, like the map has a few things which you can sell. A lot of money, i.e., I've sold the doghouse and the two uh, fuel tanks, which obviously gave us a lot of money. Some people are going to call it cheating, but at the end of the day, I'm just using the resources that were gave to me. So, <clears throat> but obviously, I've I've replaced them back in after, um, and obviously, the money I've used to buy the equipment we need to make a good start anyway, and obviously, things like seed and fertilizer and herbicide stuff like that as well. So, but uh, yeah, we obviously, we, the only animals we own at the moment are uh, chickens. We don't own any cows, any sheep, anything like that. That'll obviously come up in the coming episodes. Um, so yeah, at the moment, we just have chickens. So I've maxed the chickens out. We've got 100 chickens. That's how many you can uh, fit in the pen that's on the map. So, but uh, yes, uh, first bit of equipment. We've obviously got the uh, the in-game pottinger. It's obviously going to be helpful for when we want to do silage for the cows. So that's uh, that's that there. Um, I did place a pressure washer here and at the the other yard as well. So uh, so yeah, we're doing Heston bales on this map. I think uh, the size of the fields that are on this map justify <laughs> having Heston bales. And plus, I absolutely loved using this um, this baler for body modding. I mean, the the amount of detail on it is just mad. You know, there's just there's so much detail, and it looks and it looks and sounds great. There's obviously all the straw we got 
off our uh, arable field. So we've got a nice amount of, uh, of straw. And then we've obviously got all our uh, haymaking and grass um, implements here. So we've got the uh, windrow, tedder, and obviously mowers. And obviously you can see in the back here we've got, uh, kept the JCB. So it's obviously, it's a widely ranged teleander on, uh, on UK farms. So I've uh, kept the teleander. But uh, yeah, as you can see, fields are all harvested. Uh, we did well rain-wise off uh, both fields. I mean, to be fair, they are big fields, but yeah, 63,000, which is the field that uh, is just here. That's 60, we got 63,000 off there and then 105 off the uh, the other big field. Probably would have got, I can't remember how much it was now, a bit more. So I have given some wheat to the, the chickens, obviously. But uh, yeah, that's the equipment we've got and the setup we've got at the moment currently at the uh, at the cow farm. I'm hoping to sort of maybe uh, stack hay in this barn and uh, possibly these two barns as well. We'll have to see how much perhaps uh, hay we start off with. There isn't quite as much storage in these barns like there is the other one. The other one's quite a long, long barn, so we'll probably get more in uh in this shed so but obviously we wouldn't be able to stack them really right against the wall because of the uh the pillars but uh, yeah that's what i'm hoping to do i'm hoping to stack the hay in these uh, in these sheds anyway um and like i say i'm hoping to do mainly focus on beef farming so i know there's two uh, bits of land on the map this bit here and also this uh, this bit of land down here that are both uh, for development. So I'm hoping this one or perhaps this one up here, um, probably this one, because this one's more um, a bit of land for development, whereas that's currently, I think, all grass. So we could just keep that as a big grass field and uh, have like a big beef unit, big beef farm uh, down here. But that'll obviously... I mean, the field, the bit of land costs 833000 So I'd like to sort of get a few more fields before we um, start buying uh, bits like that. But uh, yeah, that's that's my plan anyway. That's my uh, my plan. I mean, the map, I know there's a lot of people who are obviously uh, doing content on this map. I mean, the map's just, yeah. It, um, it tops any map that was in... Uh, FS19, in my opinion, for the detail and everything. I mean, the walls, you know, alone, they just, they look like like they're popping out, like real 3D uh, objects. But, uh, yeah, I, I do quite like, I was sceptical whether I'd like the layout of the map, but it has really, really grown on me, to be fair. I do actually really, really like the... Um, the layout of the map. So we'll obviously we'll head on down to the arable yard. That's obviously cheap pasture and whatnot. I mean the gates as well. They look great and they sound great. <laughs> so that's our uh, sheep pasture anyway, just there. So I do hope to get some sheep. But obviously, uh, the focus will be on uh, on beef. So we'll pull in our yard. Well, uh, we'll park it here. Now, before we go into the main bit of the yard, we'll, uh, we'll take you in here. We've got a few bits in here. In here. So obviously, we've got our sprayer. That's obviously we're going to use that for uh, every time we need to go we're spreading herbicides, so spraying the weeds off. And then I've given us a good amount of um, herbicide to start off with as well. Um, I want to try and keep this well topped up, um, so I'm going to keep going backwards and forwards to the uh, to the shop. But that's that there. I've got a quad bike as well, which uh, just a little runabout machine we can uh, use maybe to go and uh, check the sheep or whatnot if we need to nip somewhere quick. So quite a nice mod to be honest. Um, it's on the mod hub and uh, worked really well made. I don't think we've had a quad bike before or one as nicely made is this so that's uh, that's there anyway and then if we head around here
I kept most of the starting equipment to uh, to be fair. I sold one of the John Deere's and upgraded this one. So this one's on full horsepower, 300 horsepower. Um, and I also upgraded this one as well. So we uh, got the event still and the John Deere. I might end up swapping the, uh, the, the Fenta if I've got it installed. I think it'd be under medium tractors. Yeah, I may swap it out for uh, for this tractor. Really, really nice mod I found the uh, the other day. Uh, everything's in German, but still, nice set, uh, really nice tractor. So you might end up swapping that. Well, uh, we'll have to see. But um, I don't often use the the Fent tractors, so it'd be quite nice, I suppose, to have a bit of a change. Um, it's only sort of a a little yard tractor slash it might go tedding it you know occasionally or wind drawing different different little jobs like that we might use it for so um obviously this is all hooked up because obviously next episode i'm hoping to uh to go plowing so that's all hooked up ready to go kept the roller we go on further around here i uh, i bought a challenger this is obviously going to be our main workhorse for uh, the field work and whatnot. Um, and then we obviously we kept the um, the Boulderstad uh, seed drill. And I brought the horse cultivator. I really like this cultivator. I've used this in uh, in FS19, and um, works really well. <clears throat> it packs up tight. So on maps like this, where the lanes and the gateways into the fields. Are tight, but you still need a big implement. This um, this works really well. So I tell you, have had a go with it on this map as well, and it um, worked just as well as it did in um, FS19. So obviously, I kept the combine. So that's had a horsepower uh, upgrade to it. So I think it's the top horsepower, and I've also added GPS to it. So that's uh, fully kitted out. And then I've obviously got plenty of uh, seed bags. So obviously ready to go to uh, seed our fields. And then we've got plenty of fertilizer as well, which I've obviously I've stacked in here. Um, but I think over time, we'll, uh, we'll try and get a bit more um, in here. I think what we've got so far, I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six, six, twelve, eighteen. 24. I've got a good amount, good amount of, uh, of fertilizer and seed in here. So uh, I know we uh, that's our fertilizer brother. So most of the equipment you uh, you actually start off with. I haven't added too too much equipment wise. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm really really looking forward to this series. I think how we're uh, we're going to run the series. With it being off the the live streams, I think will work a lot better um, because it means I I've got things to talk about and uh, and whatnot, and it sort of I think will be a bit more of a free flowing YouTube video. I think it'll be a bit more a bit more natural to the ones I've I've done in the past. Obviously, they're going to be sort of two three hour videos. Um, I may end up splitting them into sort of one hour segments we'll have to uh, we'll have to see but I mean they are gonna be at least one hour long the video so not the average um, length of a YouTube video but um, I think it will uh, I think it will work well it's, it's something to try at the end of the day something to try a bit different. Uh, yeah that's uh, that's going to be this episode as always if you have enjoyed it please hit the like button down below and uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel and uh, yeah this is obviously this is calms and farm so i hope you enjoy the series and uh, i hopefully see you in the next episode so thank you very much for watching bye guys